Let me explain the export range options in Adobe Premiere Pro. Range means the duration of video to be exported. Several range options have these meanings as shown. If I select entire source, Premiere Pro will export all clips up to this point. It will also export this gap between clips, but it will not export the gap after the last clip. These digits show the current position of playhead whereas these digits show the duration of in and out points. If I select the second option of source in, out, the Premiere Pro will again export the duration up to this point. Please focus on this number. If I move the second clip, then both options will now export up to this duration because Premiere Pro has automatically reset the in and out points. So, then what is difference between entire source or source in, out? Let's understand it. If I want to export only the first clip, then I will bring the playhead to the end of clip. Now press the arrow keys on keyboard to adjust the out point. Please do not select the out point at the last frame of first video but move forward the arrow key one time more and when black screen appears, it will be the exact out point for the video or sequence. Now right click on the playhead and select mark out. Now if you select the source in, out range, it will only export the first clip. However, if I select entire source in export settings, Premiere Pro will ignore the in and out points and export both clips including the gap between them. By default, the in point is at the start of timeline track. I can reset the in point by dragging the playhead, then right click and select mark in. So now this area between in and out points will be exported. The third option is about work area bar. It is not activated by default. To activate it click, three lines, and select work area bar and bar will appear on top of timeline. You can drag it to change the work area of sequence. So, if you select work area range, Premiere Pro will export everything falling under the work area bar. If you select the fourth option of custom, you can specify the in and out points by dragging the brackets in export window. So, apply any export range option which is best for you. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.